This is a normal festival wall, but this is what they've got at the world's most secure festival. But what happens when you build a fence that's so secure? You can't go over it, you can't go through it. So I'm gonna go underneath it in a secret passage right below security. Now I've had rumors of this secret entrance for years and I never believed it existed. That was until I got sent this clip from a couple of scousers literally swimming under the fence. Swam into glass for me. So it's seven days until the festival's on and no ticket. This is my only hope of getting in the festival and meeting my mates. Looks like I've got a secret passage to find. This is river number one. Should we get out? Have a little look round. River party river. Crocodile dandy. See if it actually goes up to the festival site. Old as I got closer, I could hear noises from the workers assembling stages inside the festival. I kept moving, following the river all the way until I reached the fence. Oh my god, the fence is I didn't want to ruin my chances before the festival even started, so I needed to get out fast. But on my way out, I noticed one thing that could jeopardise the whole plan. The two metal rails either side of the tunnel. It was clear to me that closer to the festival, they'd slot a nice little fence down there to block the path. I guess I just had to find the other portal. And with one already crossed off, the pressure to make the second one work was rising. Ooh, that looks more promising. That's definitely not the one from the video either. That's deep stagnant water. So I reckon they got some sitting in places every so often along here. Yeah, the fence is coming up. I'm interested to see where the stream goes. I decided to follow the stream in search of some cleaner water for Rue to drink. But little did I know at the time, she had sniffed out more than just water. Oh, hello. As I looked up, what looked to be a passage under the fence revealed itself. And that's when I realised this was the Scouse portal in all its glory. Dun, dun. Oh, God. So this is going underneath. There you go. I'm inside. There you go. You're in. Despite going under the fence, if the security was on top of the bridge, it'd be game over. It ain't taking much for the security to let be stationed there. And worse yet, my dad spotted something which confirmed that this wasn't going to be easy. You look at that pillar with the hinges on it, yeah. Yeah. Pillar over there with hinges on it. Yeah. They get high up crane here and they just slot a, a, a door in there. Yeah, I can't say I'm much more confident after seeing the gate hinges on that fence. <laughs> However, I don't think it's impossible. There wasn't a lot more I could do other than that. It'd be up to fate to decide which way the cards were dealt on the day. One month goes by and it was here. 200,000 people with tickets, but for me, judgment day. That's some dodgy credentials. I found these online. Today's Tuesday, by the way. The festival officially starts tomorrow. There's staff in there at the moment currently. So I think if I get in today, I just need to lay low, camp in a bush, and then wait for all my friends to come in tomorrow. Let me show you my outfit. The classic. I'm very aware this is gonna be difficult. One of the toughest things I've ever tried to sneak into, but today's gonna be a good one. The game plan was simple. Go down a day before, wait until the security change shifts, use that window of time to swim under the fence, meet up with my friends and have the best time of my life. Because of the train strikes, already there's so much traffic and the security patrolling everywhere. When I came down before, down there is where we went with Rue. Oh, she's doing a shit. And that fence, that's where the bridge is. I'm shitting it, no, it's starting to come out. Oh, that is a fucking 
looking like there. There's security vans going everywhere. And to the spot next to the river, which I just walked past, and about five or six security on it. And one guy stationed right on the top of the bridge. I still haven't seen whether it's got gates on it yet, which it probably does. I need to think of a plan. I'm fast. I was watching and waiting when suddenly security had just changed their shifts. So I think it's now or never. Oh god. The thing is, if you get caught in the river, there's no excuses for lunch. They put the gate down so it is fully immersed. There's people everywhere. What am I thinking? I don't see any way of going underneath the bridge without getting spotted. I'm worried about getting any closer. See down there. There's too much of a gap. You got everyone walking on the road. I'm gonna get called out for it. I basically think the gap under the thing is way too small. They've got some drainage pump and it's pumping out water. Fuck, I've got to get out of there it's too suspicious. So when the security made the changeover, the second group, which is now there, they're not standing on the river. The only trouble is, oh, it's like relatively chunky. I gotta just fucking try and work it out. Put the coat off. I'm getting wet. I'm getting the drink. I knew I had to act quickly. I was surrounded by festival workers on both sides, but I needed to get closer to figure out a plan. This would be the first time seeing the portal with the gate on. There's no way my bags fit in there. I needed to make sure I was as quiet as possible to not raise suspicion. I couldn't see an obvious route through. I needed to get out of the river before someone spotted me. within kissing distance. Oh god, my legs are stung. I was right there on the precipice. There's a little gap at the top, but I'd have to be in level with the gate in order to even get down into it. They put scaffolding poles at the bottom, which is where everyone needs to go under. I'm just gonna sit by the gate. It's not over till it's over. Sit by the gate, sort of uh, take, take a bit of time and um, watch the movements of the security. I'm just sat here. On the edge, I'm looking at that gap. It's actually that whole there. Uh, what I want to do is use the iPhone measure app to see how big the gap is. Brilliant. 23. This is what I'm worried about. Is that 24 centimetres? It looks more like 35 to me. Oh. 27, not 27. That's not that bad. I could probably squeeze in a bit. So taking confidence from my new game plan, relying on the squishiness of my ass, the new plan was hatched. I'd sneak my way down the stream in the cover of darkness and approach the fence. Once at the spot, it would be a simple waiting game for security to become distracted enough to make my move up the fence and slot my 27 centimeter ass into the gap. It was just a waiting game. I had my game plan, but I had to wait until security were distracted. One slip and the entire plan would be ruined. But with every passing minute, I lost a chunk of my sanity and was just waiting to be asked why I was hanging around on the bridge for so long. That is how close security are to me right now. And I'm just waiting. It's about half 10 at night now. I've worked out, I've got about 30 seconds to a minute with each car, max. But that's also not counting any cars coming this way and also any people walking past and saying what you're doing. This is near impossible, but I want to do it so bad. I've been sitting there for probably 25 minutes. There's not that much going on anymore, but you never know when a truck's just around the corner. There's just so many people everywhere you look. Every angle. Plan fuck it is in operation.
managed to reach the gate without being spotted. But again, I was surrounded. So after spending six hours crawling through rivers, I had made it into the world's most secure festival through a secret portal. Now it was time to enjoy it. Please don't ban me. Is that it? 